While most investors are chasing the next AI breakthrough, a different kind of revolution is unfolding, one that could be even more disruptive in the long run. That revolution is quantum computing. And right now, a small but ambitious company, Quantum Computing Inc., ticker QBT, might be setting the stage to capitalize on this paradigm shift. Unlike the household tech names getting all the attention, QUBT is quietly building a powerful platform that could bridge today's digital world with tomorrow's quantum future. So what exactly makes this company so compelling, and why is it flying under the radar? In this video, we're diving into the core technology, business model, partnerships, stock performance, and future potential of QUBT. If you're looking for a high-risk, high-reward opportunity with asymmetric upside, this might just be the quantum stock to watch. Quantum Computing Inc. isn't trying to win the quantum arms race by building massive quantum hardware from scratch. Instead, it's focused on what may be the most practical application of quantum tech today, delivering hybrid quantum classical solutions that businesses can use now. The company's flagship platform, Catalyst, is a cloud-based software solution that transforms complex optimization problems into quantum-ready formats. But it's not just software. QUBT pairs Catalyst with its Dirac series of entropy quantum computers, which use photonic-based qubits rather than traditional cryogenic qubits. This is a big deal. These systems operate at room temperature and require far less infrastructure than superconducting quantum machines, making them easier to scale and more accessible for everyday commercial applications. One of QBT's biggest strengths is its growing credibility through high-level partnerships. In April 2025, QBT was awarded a $406,000 subcontract by NASA's Langley Research Center to remove solar noise from LiDAR data using Dirac 3. This wasn't a one-off contract. It followed an earlier engagement with NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center to apply the same system to radar image reconstruction and phase unwrapping. The company also extended its cooperative research and development agreement with Los Alamos National Laboratory, one of the most advanced quantum research centers in the U.S. There, QT is helping tackle complex challenges in telecom, simulation, and protein folding using its hybrid architecture. These are not academic experiments. They're real-world applications with national security and science scientific importance. In the private sector, QUBT has also launched proof-of-concept programs in areas like autonomous vehicle sensor placement, drone flight optimization, and manufacturing logistics. Plus, the company holds a key patent in quantum cybersecurity, enabling quantum encrypted communications over fiber and satellite networks. This broadens QUBT's addressable market beyond just optimization into communications, defense, and data protection. The technical backbone of QUBT's strategy is its robust and fast-expanding intellectual property portfolio. In 2024, the company launched the Dirac 3 Entropy Quantum Computer, a nanophotonic-based platform designed for highly scalable optimization. That same year, it won an Edison Patent Award for innovations in privacy-preserving, quantum-secured computation, recognition that's rare for a company of its size. QBT's patents span everything from quantum authentication and two-photon super-radiance to remote sensing and AI reservoir quantum integration. Its research in quantum AI hybrid computing is especially exciting as it aligns with the growing intersection of machine learning and quantum processing. Whereas many quantum companies focus solely on long-term hardware scalability, QUBT's lean, IP-led model gives it an edge in time to market and flexibility. With room temperature photonic kudits and a plug-and-play architecture, it's betting that the first wave of commercial quantum value will be delivered through hybrid platforms, not pure hardware. Let's talk about the stock itself, because QUBT is not for the faint of heart. This is a classic high-beta, micro-cap stock with volatility that rivals early-stage biotech. Over the past year, shares soared by more than 4,300% at one point, before experiencing steep drawdowns of nearly 97%. Its five-year beta hovers near 3.9, and the average true range exceeds 13% a testament to how reactive it is to news, momentum, and sentiment shifts. In terms of financials, QUBT ported just $385,000 in trailing 12-month revenue and continues to post losses over $45 million annually. But there have been some bright spots. In the first quarter 2025, the company reported an unexpected profit of $0.11 per share, thanks to non-cash warrant gains. That same quarter, it also completed its quantum photonic chip foundry in Tempe, Arizona, signaling readiness to scale hardware production. Additionally, 
QUBT has raised significant capital recently, $100 million in January 2025 and $200 million in June 2025, giving it over $350 million in cash. The company was also added to the Russell 2000 and 3000 indexes, increasing institutional visibility. If you're bullish on the future of quantum computing, it's hard to ignore QBT's positioning. According to BCG, quantum could generate $450 to $850 billion in economic impact by 2040, with direct computing markets surpassing $100 billion. QBT, with its microcap valuation and differentiated technology, stands out as a first mover in hybrid systems that solve problems today, not 10 years from now. Analysts have pointed to its potential as an acquisition target or strategic partner for tech giants like Microsoft, Google, or Amazon, firms that are all aggressively investing in quantum infrastructure. Rather than reinvent the wheel, these companies might prefer to plug into QUBT's software stack, hybrid platform, or photonic systems. Even a modest slice of the quantum market could be transformative for QUBT shareholders. And with a strong IP foundation, growing use cases, and an expanding government and enterprise presence, the ingredients for exponential upside are there. Of course, there are serious risks to consider. First, QUBT's revenue remains negligible compared to its valuation, and its burn rate exceeds $6 million per quarter. The business model is still heavily reliant on government grants and pilot projects, until commercial clients scale up, there's no guarantee of sustainable income. Second, execution risk looms large. Moving from R&D to mass deployment is notoriously difficult, and the broader quantum industry is still in its infancy. Any delays in adoption or changes in federal funding could significantly impact QUBT's prospects. Finally, volatility makes this a speculative play. With share prices fluctuating between $0.35 and $27, and options activity frequently spiking, QBT is not the kind of stock you buy and forget. It requires constant monitoring and a high risk tolerance. At the end of the day, QBT is a classic moonshot. It has the right pieces, cutting edge technology, real world validation, a strong IP portfolio, and government backing. Yet, it also faces massive challenges in scaling, monetization, and investor confidence. For those who believe in the future of hybrid quantum computing, QT could offer rare early exposure to a technology that could change everything. But for conservative investors, the risks might be too high, at least until more consistent revenue and enterprise adoption materialize. So what do you think? Is QBT the hidden gem of the quantum space, or is it too early to tell? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, be sure to like the video, subscribe to Stocks Telegraph, and hit that bell so you never miss the next opportunity we uncover. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.